So, with DC uh, DCEU out the door and DC Universe in, with James Gunn helming everything with some other guy I don't know, um, yeah, I've decided to talk about um, a character that desperately needs a movie, and is one that perfectly fits in James Gunn's wheelhouse, and I honestly think this could be a project he does, because this is right in his wheelhouse, this is a character that is perfect for him, and that is Lobo. So today we're going to be talking, so this video is going to be us talking about um, how, why the DC Universe needs a Lobo movie. So yeah, now I know what you're thinking, Lobo is just Deadpool. It's true and untrue, is that they're both vastly different characters, and I, there's not a lot of fourth wall breaking with Lobo. There is a lot of vulgar uh, language and hor horrible brutality and epic violence. But other than that, yeah. Lo I think it's time to do a Lobo movie because multiple reasons. One, DC Universe is clear that they are willing to do R-rated movies and, you know, show these brutal films as these R-rated films. Like, they're vi yeah, they're violent and whatnot. <laughs> Um, and they're willing to push the boundaries. And Lobo is a character that desperately needs an R rating. It's a it's a brutal character. He is a dude who will literally just talk shit to you as he's gutting you. Um, Lobo is also a character that has a lot of great humor and violence. And yeah, James Gunn just needs to do this. I'm really hoping because he keeps talking about a secret project he's working on. He keeps like going on and on about a secret project and like. I, like, I am kind of hoping it's Lobo. I'm kind of hoping it's Lobo. Because of how well he did the Suicide Squad, I'm like, Lobo would be perfect. So, unfortunately, it's really hard to cast who you would cast for Lobo. It's because, like, the perfect casting is already doing a character in the DC Universe. Like, that's kind of the problem, is that the character that I would have picked for Lobo is literally doing another character. That's Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa would have been a perfect Lobo. He's this... He has this great amount of, like, he has, of course, the body type, but it also he has, like, the, the um, just kind of that brutal kind of, like, arrogant kind. He can play that arrogant badass. In fact, when I'm watching Justice League and Aquaman, I'm like, this dude should have been Lobo. He's literally just giving, when he's in the bar, he's, like, I, he's literally giving off Lobo vibes. Just give him, like, white, white skin and, say, bat snitch, and it's perfect. Um... Lo and also, why wasn't Lobo promoted even more? Because, yeah, people have been saying, oh, Harley Quinn's Mar DC's Deadpool. No, she's not. I don't know why we decided to make Harley Quinn. I know Harley Quinn is a profitable character. That's why they did it, is that Harley Quinn is a... And I'm not saying that's brawl. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying, like, they've gone out... DC's gone out of their way to make Harley Quinn, like, a pillar of the DC universe and make her this character that she's not but at the same time it still works and I don't know like I feel like the Harley Quinn TV show is just a little too mean spirited personally I just it just feels a little too like mean spirited sometimes about the DC comics if it was Lobo I feel like it'd be a lot it'd be a lot more bet it'd be a better because it's like Lobo's show would be that kind of level of mean spiritedness. Like, it would be that kind of level of, I'm gonna fuck you up and also make fun of all your shit. Um, that's kind of the thing. Now, Lobo, um, it, you need an actor who can be vulgar, brutal, and also big. Like, you need a big dude. Um, I think it's also that DC Universe is willing to be... Like, why I think it's also, like, why um, DC needs a Lobo film is because they're willing to take chances. I mean, they took chances with Suicide Squad, didn't hurt, hit the first time, hit the second time, and we got Joker they're, and Black Adam. Like, they're w willing to do villain and anti-hero films. Well, J Lobo can be literally both villain and anti-hero half the damn time because he's willing to just frag everything. Um... I think it would be also fun to have him tangent, like, kind of like how Black Adam is connected to Shazam. I think it'd be a lot of fun to have Lobo connected to Superman and maybe have Lobo in a Superman movie, like, have his own film, then he, then he has, then he's in the next Superman movie, because we do know that Henry Cavill is back as Superman. 
and we do know that it, it does look like that, yeah, Black Adam and Superman are on a collision course, so I'm like, why not have Lobo in there, too, and have some fun with it? Mm. Um, yeah, that's kind of the th- that's, um, that's kind of where I'm kind of at. Like, I'm just kind of like, I'm waiting for that, because of all the characters, I'm like, this is the guy that James Gunn would uh, would just have a field day with. This is the guy, like, this is the character that would literally be the perfect, like, James Gunn experiment um, for literally anything. It would be a character who could be um, just, the ne- like, a next big character. And Lobo already has a, ma- a massive following. I mean, the 90s, of course he came from that 90s era, along with, like, Venom, Wolverine, and all those other edgel- edgelord characters. But Lobo already has, like, a cult following, and don't tell me that he's not still not popular. Whenever he shows up in a book, people check that shit out. Like, whenever he shows up in a comic, he still has, like, a cult following behind him. So why not kind of transition that um, to to him? Like, why not transition it to um, to movies as well? Yeah. Um, as for actors who could play him, like I said, I have no idea. Because the, the guy I would have picked is literally playing Aquaman. Um... And yeah, it'd be kind of fun also to really play... Like, this would be a fun way to play with, like, um, the DC um, cosmic side. Like, really play with the cosmic side of the DC universe. Like, maybe you could have Lobo encounter the Daxamites, the Durlins, the Dominators. There's a lot of D-name aliens in in the DC universe. Maybe the Kurds, the the Thanagarians, the the Tamaranians. Maybe even, like, you could... It would be kind of fun to have, like, him... He shagged Blackfire... Like, he wakes up in bed and Blackfire's right next to him. Um, and she just blasts him in the face. Something like that. Um, you could have him go to Bizarro World, encounter Bizarro. A lot, of, like, there is a lot you could play with. Because, again, he's a cosmic character. And, again, um, it would be kind of like a sing- like Guardians of the Galaxy, but just way more vulgar. And, again, I'm ki- that's, I'm, that's the project, again, I'm, ho- I'm, I'm hoping Gunn would play with. But, yeah. Lobo needs a DC film, and I've been meaning to do this video. I, I know it's not like really doesn't have much of a meaning other than please let Lobo be in the DC in the new DC films. But yeah, I was just like, yeah, I kind of want him in here. I want more Lobo stuff. It's been very much lacking. And in fact, if you want someone who can really compete with, uh, and not to say Harley isn't, and I'm not saying Harley isn't like worthy of it at all. She's very much worthy, but, like, if you want a character that, like, has that kind of same kind of level of vulgarity and, like, brutality that Deadpool has, yeah, Lobo's your guy. Definitely Lobo is your guy. So, yeah. So you guys tell me in the comments below, would you guys want a Lobo movie, and who would you want to play Lobo, who would you want to direct? If it's not James Gunn, just, uh, yeah, Do you, would you guys want a Lobo movie? Yeah, just, that's, that's the question. So yeah, you guys tell me in the comments below, just let me know. Other than that, hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.